Saudi Arabia's Mohammed bin Salman defends China's use of concentration camps for Muslims. During Mohammed bin Salman's visit in China, he appeared to defend China's use of re-education camps for its country's Muslim population. Quote, China has the right to carry out anti-terrorism and de-extremization -extre work for its national security. End quote. The Crown Prince was quoted as saying on Chinese television, Uyghur groups called on Mohammed bin Salman to use his official visit to pressure China on the issue of the concentration camps, as Saudi Arabia has traditionally been a defender of these rights of Muslims worldwide. Yeah, fucking hypocrites, right? This, now, this is the right. same group, Armin, that we started a, a petition about, right? Yeah. To bring awareness to what's going on with these groups in China. So this is something yep. that we, as, as atheists, uh, said this is wrong. These people should not be treated this way. These people should not be brainwashed out of the religion they've already held. Us, as atheists, said we need to get these people help. It was a it's they have a mil camp with a million like this is the closest thing we've got to the camps of Nazi Germany since since World yes. War Two. This is fucking insane. I mean, I'm so. This is one of those things. You know how uh, Yemen is one of those things that ten years from now they're gonna talk about, like ask, like what, what the fuck? Why did people say, you know, after World War Two we said never again, and we keep doing the same fucking shit all over again? This China right. stuff, that what they're doing to the Muslim community in China, this is one of those things that the future generations are gonna be like, wow, our parents were just let this go by, and they not, they didn't say much about it, like. I, one million people in camps like are you fucking serious and not only the world is not talking about it muslims are not talking about it and we have muslim countries actually saying yes this is fine they're endorsing it holy yes. fucking shit and with uh, by the way just to be fair to 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 take a shit at our own community at the eight not just the atheist community but our own atheist republic community we get a lot of shit for for calling china out a lot of people in the atheist community always say like what the why, why you guys are not supporting china china is doing a great job so we get a lot of shit from our community when we speak against china for 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 violating human rights i mean if you if you are so anti-Islam that you're actually anti-Muslim to this level, that you are supporting camps for pe rounding people up and imprisoning, you are you have created the monster that you pre that you pretend to be against, right? What's the point of fighting against Islam if you are now coming up with another tyrannical anti-human rights value system that, that that you support? Like this is this is. What is the point of being against Islam if you're not going to call this shit out? Well, right. it's be it's because there's there's political motivation here. You have, to, you have to remember the context of where he's doing this. This is in a meeting with President Xi Jinping of China, and they have very close trade ties. So I think this is trying to establish some sort of a connection and kind of a you know stroking his ego kind of thing. Well, I, but but to sell out millions of innocent people and what they're sure. doing to these people, I don't know. I don't know if. You know, everyone knows what's happening to these people. These people are, are they're going to China, okay, or not, right? It, it doesn't matter. But they're, they're innocently living their lives. And all of a sudden, there's a knock at the door, okay? And they've got police officers saying, hey, are you a Muslim? Or you're a Muslim. Okay, well, we're, we need to take you down to the station. We need to get you registered, blah, 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 blah. And then all of a sudden, they, they see themselves driving for a while into these heavily fenced areas, where they go into these scary looking shack things. Uh, some people are stripped of their clothes. Some people are starved until they uh, blaspheme against Allah and start start uh, doing the, the Chinese anthem and everything. Okay, so they're, they're physically tortured. Uh, they, they are mentally tortured. Imagine taking a belief, and, and obviously I think everything that, that is in the Islamic belief system is just horseshit but to to take someone in and then and then by force of of hunger by force of we're going to hurt you we're going to hurt your family um force them to say things they don't believe and and then start telling them what they need to believe how can any free thinker think this is okay how can anyone be treated this way this is hell this is horrid hell and to have this man over a fucking trade agreement be yeah, like, right, sure, right. this is fantastic treatment. Uh, please continue. I mean, Saudi Arabia is... And other Muslims aren't. 
I mean, Saudi Arabia has always put hu uh, dollars over human lives. I mean, they, they've they always... Pakistan, over Pakistan is doing the same thing. Pakistan has a lot of trade agreements with China. And the Pakistan is also not going to call this shit out. And Turkey is calling this shit out. But unfortunately, Turkey is calling this shit out as a move against... Um, you know, as, a, as a, to point out the hypocrisy of Saudi Arabia, because Turkey is very anti anti Saudi right now. But it, it doesn't matter. The fact that Tur I, I I take it, I'll take Turkey calling this shit out because there's not that many people calling this shit out. Like there's not that many people calling China out and this bullshit because China is just way too important in trade deals. Uh, you know. So, but I don't know. This is this is so so bad. Um, w w you know, b Pakistan and China. Uh, sorry, Pakistan and China have a lot of trade agreements, uh, and China is actually taking advantage of Saudi Arabia's, you know, ever since Khashoggi, the whole world has turned against Saudi Arabia, right? I mean, not as much as they should, but more than before, like, Saudi Arabia is feeling the heat, which is very bizarre that they didn't feel this heat because of the crimes that they committed in Yemen, but as soon as they kill somebody that is a U.S. resident, now they're all of a sudden getting all this heat. Which is, again, at least they're getting this heat. But but China is now coming in and, you know, saying, uh, you know, Saudi Arabia, we, have, we don't care about human rights either. So if you're abandoning the U.S., we are here for you. And Saudi Arabia is so desperate, they will say anything uh, to support China right now. Even, and also Israel, unfortunately, as well. Um, Israel is losing hope uh, against the uh, United for United. It's not seeing United States as a reliable ally as is as as much as it used to be. So the car, you know, a lot of you know, Israel is now getting too close to Saudi Arabia, which it's going to backfire for Saudi Arabia uh, because you know, get getting close to China is not as seen as bad yet among the muslim community it will become like china will become the muslim communities tomorrow the f f great devil right now the muslim community is mostly sensitive about the united states and israel and saudi arabia is playing game going close to israel uh, because they're desperate they're desperate for allies it's not gonna play uh, it's not gonna work for them in the long term like you're gonna there's so many people in the Muslim community that hate Saudi Arabia right now because of their close relationships with Israel uh, but China because most Muslims traditionally haven't don't associate uh, China with the great devil the way that they look at Israel and the United States they're they're not talking about this whole China, even though you know the, uh, the number of people in prison, the number of Muslims in prison for no crimes in China is astronomical compared to whatever is happening in Palestine, right? But they're still obsessed with what Israel is doing uh, to Palestinian people, even though it's nothing compared to what China is doing to Muslims. But the amount of attention that the Muslim community is bringing to China is ridiculously small compared to how much they talk about Israel. I do think that's changing. I do see more, more Muslims talking about it as I predicted compared to before, this is going to become bigger because it's so astronomically high. And I also think that this is going to be an excuse for them because Christianity is, a tra is an ancient enemy uh, of Islam. Judaism is an ancient and current enemy of Islam, the, 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 you know, when it comes to anti-Semitic views and stuff like that. But atheism is a new enemy that Islam is, the Muslim community is not used to, but it is right now taking more of them than Christianity and Judaism. Judaism is not taking Muslims away. Christianity is taking as many Muslims away as Muslims taking away Christian. But more people are abandoning, uh, if m more people that are abandoning Islam, they're going to, for going for atheism they're abandoning religion altogether so they are going to at some point recognize us the atheist community as their main co uh, competition and china is going to be the perfect boogeyman for them to point out as what atheism to represent atheism to represent uh, us so they it wouldn't be the first time yeah it wouldn't but it's going to become i mean they already do it right now but this is going to be a more because being anti-Jew or anti-Christian is so deeply within their narratives and within their ancient, uh, you know, culture 
that they just it's just there they don't even have to invent stick this is the thing that they have to invent and it's going to take some while but until it becomes uh, a repetitive uh, narrative that they keep using like china atheism china is atheist state this is what atheism gets you this is the evils of atheism but, and i but, mean but, we know we, we already people do that already with mao and stalin and stuff like that but i think this is going to become more as more as we take more muslims away to, to and make them ex-muslims this is going to become a huge narrative in the muslim community right. at some point but go on well i i just want to point out that there's difference between an atheist state and atheism because in, a, in an atheist state you are saying that you can only be an atheist that you have to follow this so if you uh, it, atheism itself does not have an ideology or does not have a doctrine, but you can put atheism in an ideology and in a doctrine. And when that happens, then I mean, you can do whatever you want with it. You can you can make a good ideology and a good doctrine with atheism as your foundation. Or you or, or you, I mean, it's the, I mean, the sky's the limits. I mean, I have so many arguments against that nonsense uh, that I'm, I'm, I'm don't want to turn this episode to that because we have already went over how stupid this that shit is many many times. I'm just telling you what the what the what I think the future narratives is going to be. I don't want to tackle them here because we have done that a million right. fucking times. Uh, Karen is saying, Mr. Mr. Bones saw it, is a desperate. This wait, okay, they're just responding to other people here. David is saying, "Not my circus, not my monkeys." Uh, okay, so so David doesn't care about fellow human beings just because it's not happening in his own backyard. Thank yeah. you, David, for showing us that you're not really a humanist and you don't care for other people. Uh, Desmond is saying they're very secular when it comes to money. I mean, you're talking about the House of Saud. House of Saud has always been about money. There's two house, there's two main houses in Saudi Arabia where control the power: the House of Saud and the House of Wahhab. The House of Wahhab is a religious extremist uh, uh, house that, well, not you know, the Islamic house that is responsible for Saudi Arabia being the shithole that it is. And Saudi Arabia uh, and the House of Saud is the corrupt house that uh, worship money over Allah. Uh, George is saying. Uh, go go world's top human rights defenders I don't know what that mean he probably has similar plans for atheists and and Christians oh yeah um, anyways um, anything else you, uh, you want guys want to add um. hashtag heathen saying I love atheist Republic but the trolls here are quite distracting and annoying Okay, Christy and Beige and Mrs. Snarky, don't remove people for uh, saying stuff that we, if in the YouTube live chat, if people are being uh, um, annoying enough to completely distract the conversation, remove them. Uh, but not not for saying something we disagree with or saying something that we find offensive or anyway. Keep those. Only remove them if they're constantly repeating the same thing over and over again, or they're just trying to take the conversation into, you know, they're just doing personal attacks and nothing else. I see already, but Beach is already doing that. Thank you, Beach, for moderating the YouTube live chat. You're 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 awesome. Uh, yeah. But so, is Christy saying that I'm Mr. Bonesaw? Was that? I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. No, that was. <laughs> That was in the no. That was Karen on the Facebook post. I don't know what that's. Oh, referring but to. Uh, well, C Christy tagged me and said M Mr. Bonesaw on on YouTube. I don't know what I don't know what that's. Oh wait, Bonesaw! We're talking about. Pff, why didn't I see this? We're talking about Muhammad oh, ben Mr. Salman. Oh. oh God. Okay, no, now it's it just that wish this flower. Oh my God. Okay, okay. <laughs> Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. 
With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.